Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. In this video, we're gonna be using two different gels. So we're gonna be using my favorite, which is the Wet Line <laughs> Extreme Gel. This is this is everything you guys know. And if you don't know, I'm gonna have to get y'all familiar. I'm on. And then we're gonna be using the Don't Shrink by Aunt Jackie's. This is the elongating, I'm sorry, flaxseed elongating curling gel. We're gonna be using these together, and there's a reason why I chose these two. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. First off, welcome. All my old time subbies, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you guys as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. So y'all, here's the real tea as to why I'm using two gels. You ready? You ready? Okay, so this is the honest to goodness truth. <laughs> okay, so y'all know I love my wet line extreme gel. It's like, it needs no help, correct? However, looking for a more moisturized type of wash and go. And when I use more moisture in my hair or on my hair or whatever, and then I use a wet line extreme, I do experience frizz. I thought, what about really ensuring that my hair is very, very moisturized and then just doubling up on my gels? Makes sense to me. Uh, That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Hey y'all, so the first conditioner that I'm using is one of my favorites, y'all know, is the Bioterra Leave-In Silky Milk. You can find this at Sally's. I absolutely adore this stuff, but I'm saying the moisture that I receive from this stuff is just so amazing. Another one of my favorites is the Maintain um, Leave-In Conditioner, and I just chose these two because they're just really, really hydrating to my hair, and they work really well underneath gels. Um, and then, of course, we're moving on to the Don't Shrink, which is a moisturizing gel. It's a lighter consistency other than the Wet Line Extreme. Um, it has flaxseed in it. It's supposed to elongate your curls. I noticed I had a lot of definition as well as moisture. Um, so I chose to use this first um, and then follow up with the Wet Line Extreme Gel, which is more of like my defining gel. Um, and this is a little bit more harsh. The ingredients really aren't the greatest, but I have all this other stuff on my hair. Um, so I chose to use this last to really kind of seal in the deal and make, you know, just give me that definition that I want and that I'm looking for for this wash and go along with getting the extra moisture, which is the ultimate goal. Okay. I also want to say while I have y'all on this voiceover and stuff or whatever that you know everyone's hair is different so applying more product did not weigh my hair down however like I said everyone is different everybody's hair is different this process could weigh your hair down I'm not really sure it might be just what you use um, but I like I said strategically chose what I chose for a particular reason um, so this is how it's looking y'all the wet um, hair and I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hair first I'm gonna go ahead and do my baby hair and I couldn't find my brush so I went ahead and just used my nails to go ahead and get this you know situated just for the time being so normally I would leave out the diffusing process and stretching but I did ask if you guys want to see that and many of you guys said yes so I left it in here but I sped it up because yeah I don't want y'all getting bored like I normally would so I'm stretching my hair which causes a lot of frizz in my case so I really put my hair to the test I'm telling y'all with stretching my hair like am I gonna get frizz what's gonna happen so yeah, y'all stay tuned. Okay, don't be skipping and stuff, all right? Okay, y'all, so this is the final look. I feel like my hair looks pretty much the same. But this, this is a different kind of moisturize. Like, if I could just be really honest real quick. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So I'm gonna be really honest of how my hair feels. Um, it feels like it's been deep conditioned in frankincense and myrrh. It feels like John the Baptist, Mary Magdalene, Jesus, Moses, Ruth, Adam and Eve, all just had different sections and subsections of my hair and just prayed over it. Um, it feels like I went 
to the River Jordan and was baptized by John the Baptist and Jesus himself. And when I came up out the water, my hair just feels blessed and, 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 and just washed in the blood of the lamb. Listen, my hair just feels incredibly amazing. I have an older video where my hair was colored and I used this and I raved about Aunt Jackie's um, Don't Shrink. And I remember how moisturized my hair felt. Um, and then you guys already know that I'm such a huge fan of the Wet Line Extreme Gel. So I've been wanting to try two different gels, but I wanted to be strategic with my gels, okay? Definitely knew that Wet Line Extreme was gonna be one of them. I didn't want Eco Styler and Wet Line Extreme. I just thought like the two properties together was gonna make my hair just really, just ungodly. So I chose a gel that worked well on its own, but wasn't exactly what I'm used to when I'm using the Wet Line Extreme Gel. It's kind of like mixing two spices that you know are gonna taste really, really well together um, for your dish to come out amazing. That is what it looks like. Okay, and let me show you why. Why is it that little burn on the top? No, no, damn it. Um, but my main, main goal was to see if I can combat frizz because I know when I use moisturizing products, no matter if I use plash stuff, okay, if I use wet light extreme gel, whatever on top, I still get some type of frizz. It just feels really good. Um, I know I've said that in a lot of videos, but that's just what it is. It just feels good or it doesn't, and my hair feels really good. I'm very pleased with those choices. Um, I think next time I might try like a, a curling jelly and a gel because I know how my hair acts with curling jellies. It's like a hit or miss. Um, but I knew that this was going to have my back and I knew that this was going to have my back. So I figured why not put them together and um, just see if I can double up my moisture products and still not encounter frizz and still get definition and shine because I don't get that if I were just to use one gel and use a whole bunch of moisturizing products. That's just my hair. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you are subscribed, okay? We have fun over here, ma'am. Okay, go ahead and click that button down below. I love y'all so very much and I'll see you guys in the next video.